What we're referring to, obviously, is the recent disconnect between uh, the yield on the 10-year, which had a great influence on where equities traded on a daily basis, intraday basis even, uh, and the past several days uh, in which uh, uh, yields went down, but stocks didn't go up in reaction. And uh, there are several different theories there. One is uh, reinform reinforcement of this whole uh, transitory concept. And, uh, a few, a, be a deep uh, minority, uh, believing we may even begin to see some deflationary influences after the collapse in things like lumber and uh, down moves in copper and whatever. Um, others are saying simply, no, it's the fact that the uh, Biden proposals, the economic proposals, infrastructure, et cetera, are getting pushback. And that may mean lower expenditures and therefore less demand for money and less upward pressure on those uh, interest rates. And then finally, there is uh, uh, some people who feel that there's offshore influence and they claim, and I don't want to get too arcane here, but that there are some uh, indicators in the Chinese banking statistics that indicate things may be tightening up there. Now, that doesn't make a lick of sense. They're having a, a new resurgence in COVID. Uh, the uh, ports are, are beginning to back up, shortages going out. You would think that with that physical threat, the uh, Bank of China would be pumping money in hand over fist. Uh, their numbers are difficult to come by. They have sometimes months-long lag leads. So we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, for right. me, however, it's a little tough, it's a little tough to buy this uh, uh, Biden uh, cutback proposal. So uh, can I pin you down on the 10-year? Uh, uh, which comes first, 1% or 2%? Um, boy, I would have bet you 2%. But if, if any of these disinflationary, deflationary uh, moves become evident, um, then I, I would have to back up. I think we might, again, start to move lower. A critical area will be the area around 135. Uh, if we get down there, and move through it, then that will tell me that there is something going on here that people are saying inflation? No, not at all. So we're going from transitory to possibly deflationary. Questions wide open out there. Uh, I think maybe uh, you'll hear from me and very few other people, even the word deflation, but it's something I'm going to watch out for. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.